Parts are here. I think the other radio support is in here. So let's open these up. Damn. All right, guys. So I just got my bumper from VIS. Uh, they have a different new location here so they make some of the bumpers here some of them uh, they have in a different location but liberty walk g37 front bumper ready to go back here we got the measurements and the markup of how these g35 fenders are going to be cut up and molded on with the g37 fenders so as you guys could tell the cut up goes like that these are the vented fenders that everybody's getting nowadays in carbon fiber but mine are going to be made out of metal so you guys have seen them probably from i'll just show you a pic like right now so yeah those fenders will be made for my car but i'm doing them out of metal got all the measurements from my friend carmelo that's out in hawaii that recommended me to do the wire tuck as well so he sent me a picture and I'm like, dude, now that you have those fenders right there, um, send me the measurements of what how it is so I can know. And the part that's cut up from right here like that is going to be the G37. So that part cut out like that from there is going to be the G37 front end. And this back piece is going to be the G35 that's going to be caved in and then with the little vents like that. So it's going to make it a lot easier to do and... The only piece that I'm going to have to blend in is right where the curve ends is blend in that piece with the G37 one. So it makes it easier than having to blend the entire thing. OEM projectors for sale. And I got OEM hood. This fender I will be selling if someone could trade me for another fender that's kind of fucked up like that one. That one's only fucked up from the front, but everything from the back is perfect. So that's why I sold that passenger fender i also i also have a am colder intake filters dirty but it's washable so you guys can clean that up i have the other piece somewhere in there but am cold air intake for sale as well i and i also have nine half inch plenum spacer i don't have any of the hardware for it so if you guys actually want this shoot me a hundred bucks for it you guys could get 100 bucks for the cold air intake whoever wants it 100 bucks for the plenum spacer 100 bucks for the cold air intake the hardware you could just order it anywhere on the website they sell it apart i think it's only like 50 bucks i think yeah like no i think not even 50 bucks probably like 20 bucks i don't even remember anymore i was gonna put it on my car but don't even care for it any, anymore i also have this carbon fiber cluster cover but it is slightly damaged right there because George put one of the fucking one of his work wheels when we picked them up in the back seat on right on top of it. So if anyone wants this, shoot me 50 bucks. I think they go for 180 brand new. You just use double side tape and they go right on. And they're carbon fiber. So that's how it looks. If anyone wants this, shoot me 50 bucks. All right guys, so this is where we're at. We got G37 hood hinges, safety latch, and hood latches. And I already put these on. And the hooks for both sides. So that side and this side already has it. So I can actually latch the hood on. Only problem is that I found out is, I guess there's a bracket that's supposed to go here and these bolt right up to it like so so these go like that under and then the bracket sits on top and you latch it on or you bolt it on so missing the brackets i messaged the guy that sent me these parts he he said he's going to check to see if he has them and if he has them he's going to send them over and we got the radiator support brackets oh shit this one's coming loose but 
this is basically how they go i put one bolt on just to the other one goes right here but i put one bolt on just to like hold it in place for a little bit and i can check it out but from here oh shit, okay. hold on okay from right here to right here and then from right here sure to cross to here same and then from here all the way across so let's see if we can make the radiator fit and i'm hoping this does work because if it does not i just throw away 150 bucks and i'm gonna have to go buy another radiator support i was actually measuring it right before i got to cutting i said maybe i should measure it first and i did and it ends at 27 so from end to end it ends at 27. i measured the bottom as well and it says 27 so 27 if i were to get it in the middle right there on that side look where 27 ends up it's slightly over here so i would have to either not use these secures because it'll still it'll still go through on the top but on the bottom i would have to make new holes so as you guys can tell as you guys could tell right here 27 on the bottom doesn't line up with the holes so it is exactly the same so i, I could drill new holes onto this and it should work but i'm still gonna cut this out and let's see if it works this sensor is for no idea it's riveted on so i mean it's, i'm guessing it's for the g37 so it has nothing to do with mine all of my connections radiator ac lines everything's still connected so everything on my car should work so whatever this is i don't need so finally cut and let's see if we could fit this in do some shitty cuts here and there um i left this on because i don't know if i might need it or not I don't think so, but we'll see right now. This part, I think this is from the AC. Yeah, that's from the AC. In order to try to get this in, because these right here were not letting me get this thing in. So let's try it again. Okay, more difficulties. So now that I'm trying to mount this to this, this is in the way. So on the radiators, they don't even have this right here on the radiator. It's like somewhere up towards like the middle somewhere right here so having difficulty with that i might just do the cutout right here and hopefully it works cutting pieces left and right now making final trims i even cut a hole right here for this so cut out the entire inner section now and i'm just close to just saying fuck all this and just cut the middle piece right off but I don't know if I really should do that or not. That is super risky. I could either cut it off. I'm already looking online to buy another one of these just in case. So I already found one. They're selling another one for the same price, 150 bucks out the door in LA. So I might cut this one, mount it up, put the brackets on. Cause the top, I don't really need. Since this is a G35, not a G37. All these shit that are on here, I don't think I need them anymore. And so I basically said fuck it <laughs> and cut the entire cross piece off. Of course, this is going to cause it to lose its um, structural durability. So it won't be as stiff as it should be. But, I mean, honestly, I don't really care. <laughs> I guess you could say project car, right? So, live and learn. So now that this is kind of on the radiator still hasn't sit flush on the bottom because i need to make the new holes just so it can sit and then i was seeing on the pictures of the g37 
G37s, these lines that are right here, they're part of this, go up around the side or wrap around the side and go onto this. So I'm gonna see if I can relocate these lines to just cruise over or go through here or some way, somehow get them through here. Cause it looks like it, they will fit. They're almost like perfectly lined up. So you could just fit through here, mount this back up and it'll be good to go. So I'm hoping that's what I can do for this. Now that I kind of have that on, let's see. Looks like I'm dropping some kind of fluid somewhere. This can go. Okay, so I'm looking at this. It's kind of hung itself up on these things right here in the back. So it's like sitting on this, but it lines up with those two holes kind of. There you go. So lines up with those, not the bottom ones, unfortunately. But I think we might be able to get away with it like this. Now, the bracket is here. But so that would be lined up like that. On the G37s, this part is open outward and this is glued onto the bottom of this with adhesive or some, I don't know what, what kind of glue they used, but they use something to glue it onto this. So we're gonna find out how I'm gonna make this catch up to this because there's a small gap down below. So I kind of semi-mounted one headlight, but obviously this looks way too low. Right now I'm gonna drill the holes on the bottom of that. So you guys could tell it's kind of close to where it should be, but not entirely. So it could sit properly and then I'm gonna lift it up on each end, put a self tap on both sides and see how, what happens from there. Right, so ignore the mess I am I mean, I, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. But my friend from Hawaii told me that while I'm doing this and everything is off, I should wire tuck the headlight cables. So, all right, so it is Sunday and now I gotta figure out my fucking mess. So you guys can see there are fucking pieces of the radiator <laughs> that are cut up everywhere. But we got George here finally back in the vlog and we are gonna look at his car and my car and figure out exactly how this should go so i figured if i can mount the radiator g35 radiator onto this and then i pick it up from that side because this one oh. this is i thought so yeah, you can you can redo the holes aquí, wey, de este lado, mira. Subido, todo lo que All se right. puede. Mira, ya se lo aquí así, wey. There you go. Te va a quedar así, wey. But you're gonna have aquí estos hoyos, wey. Mira. But that's too high up. So right, the thing is, the is, this bracket is supposed to go like there this, you go, wey. but perfect. this bracket is supposed to go under. Let's see, try it. Put it on. All right, hold on. Let me get let me pull this on. All right. So. Since these things don't align with these, the G37 ones are different, we were able to get one of them on. And with that one on, it looks like the bracket actually sits up top how it should be. So right now I'm gonna get the headlight and I'm gonna put it on and see how it is with the wheel. And I'm gonna measure it off with the G37 one. It's up with this part. So this is the part of the frame of the car. This lines up with it, which is fine. And once we got that up, this bracket actually sits. We put a bolt on right here. The other one's supposed to go right there. You guys can tell, but I don't know. I need to get something to like a screw on because otherwise it doesn't screw on. But this time around, the headlight actually does sit a little bit higher. So that's what I was worried about. I didn't want the front end sitting too low. So headlight is on and it looks like it is where it should be. So now, second part is getting this self, on self -tap that one. yeah we're probably i'm most likely going to do a self tap either that or drill a hole straight down through it and put a 
a bolt and the nut and washer. So we were able to align the radiator support. So at least one of the bolts holds up to this. And same on this side. It's, I mean, you still need to tighten this one up, but same one on each side. Headlight looks like it should be where it's supposed to go. So now from here, we're gonna try and mount up the AC part. So this is the hard part because these lines are different from the G35 and G37. The G35 ones, they come right up here. Whereas the G37 ones, I think they come in uh, somewhere around and then they come around like this. So one, two, we're gonna take it back off. We're gonna put this back on because once this is on, then all my AC will work. I don't have to worry about it. And I'm gonna adjust the holes so the radiator could properly sit down how it's supposed to. And because the way it is right now, it's got pressure built up, pushing it downward. So I don't want that. Uh, I just want the radiator to sit normally how it should. And once this is back on, in order to avoid making so much work with this, um, I'm just gonna make the cutout for it, which is gonna go somewhere right here. So let's get this off and let's make that cutout on the radiator support so we've got this thing back on as part of the ac we finalized our cuts right here made it all as flat as we possibly could all the way around made the holes for the radiator mount so these are the oem ones on the ends these are the new ones we marked them out and this one's for this plastic right here so this is where the radiator is going to mount up to and let's get this thing on made the cutout for these AC lines. All right, so after yeah, getting the holes right for the, to mount the radiator, I was finally able to get it on, made the cut. We got clearance, good to go. Very nice, I think I cut a little too far deep in on right here, but that's fine. And bolts it up on that side, and bolts up this side. And there we have it. G37 radiator support is finally on after doing quite a few modifications, but it is finally on. All right, so I got the headlights on, as you guys can see. Damn, what the fuck? I'm super excited about this guy now. Yesterday I was panicking, not knowing what the fuck I was doing. So bolted up the headlights, we got the brackets on. I still need to either drill the hole or south tap these in place but headlights are on and as you guys could tell oh my god thanks to george yeah. nah, fuck you Did you bitch you were supposed to be here yesterday <laughs> fuck your shit so i think i remember seeing in his video the guy that did it back in 2016 he just had that tank in there like that because it was kind of in the way, but I think I might actually be able to get away with it. Actually, remount this thing. And so, yeah, so I was able to actually put it back on. Cool. All right, next thing, we are gonna put the hood on and then go from there. Since you have that thing. All right, so now back to some bad news. I think. Look at that wheel gap. So we got the fender on, on the front only, so it could align. But it is way too high. So, fuck. Exactly my words right here is fuck. So this shit is way too high right now. I'm wondering why. I mean, I'm guessing it would be because this is too high. See, but if that thing is too high. I'm trying to figure out. It looked a lot better without having to put the fender on, but putting the fender on shows me that got this wheel gap. So it's too far up. That's for damn sure. So I think we're gonna unbolt it from down here and 
have this slide down and we can bolt it up to right there. Yeah, see, I think that's the only way. But after doing that, I know for sure this bracket is going to end up uh, below this mark. So, but let's, let's we're going to lower it down right now and we're going to figure this out. Yeah, because we were looking at George's car right here. And his whole fender thing is basically floating up top. Whereas on mine, it's like sitting on right on this thing. So I'm not sure why is that, but we're going to figure it out. All right, so after seeing it on George's car, I also noticed that the hood latches, this is supposed to bolt right up to this, but it doesn't reach. On his, on the G37s, I saw that the latch is moved over to the almost the very very edge so it's like probably like five millimeters or less of clearance on this side so you need to get both of these hood hinges and move them off to the side so my hood can line up i was able to mount up the front bumper on this god damn look at this guys oh my god i'm so excited just seeing this I don't really care about this part because this part's still all apart. But <laughs> from this angle right here, there you guys have it. Damn. G35 with G37 front end. Of course, I still need to do all this work that goes off on the side right here. So that is to come. But these are going to be the fenders. Cut them up, weld them together. So, yeah. God damn, that is a sight to see right there. Yup, definitely. There we go, I adjusted the wheel just so I could poke out like that. But again, the car is sitting too way too high up, so let us, let us adjust these brackets and have this thing sit a little bit further down. Yup. Right. I know, but if our Ponleke, yeah, I can maybe leave it like that and it'll clear. Like, <clears throat> it's todo de arriba bien, wey, and I could lower the car more, pero la vaya abajo, wey, down at the frame, that's gonna be fucking hitting everywhere. So it's not that bad, but it's a little bad. So we were able to line the hood perfectly, and the fender kind of. I kind of I need to rebolt the headlight on, but once the headlight is bolted on, it should be the fender kind of lines up with it. So we're a little stuck on what we're doing here. We still have to lower the whole radiator support down, but we'll find out right now how we're gonna do this with the hood on. Actually, you guys could tell the hooks go right in where the hood latch is supposed to go, so that's good. It lines up with that how it should. All right, so we finally lowered it down. So it used to be bolted up on these top ones. This fucking bolt got fucked up, so now it's gone, but top ones bolt right up. I could even put two of them instead of just one. So we're probably gonna do that for sure, is put two of these bolts on this. And then brackets seem to still be able to semi touch up here but as you guys could tell before only one of these holes was visible now both of them are kind of so probably drill in a couple south taps and add adhesive to it everything I can just to make sure these hold up but we'll find out right now so now that this is up we're gonna put the hood back on mark the hood and drill it in and we're gonna make sure it goes into the latches but all right so hood back on that looks perfectly centered just about all right now i'm gonna measure it i've been measuring everything with measuring tape making sure it's even or at least semi-even on both sides and hood is on and latch goes through the radiator support how i want same on this side so that's good so we're gonna put these on. 
and these on. Right now we're gonna put the bumper on as a mock-up and see how low it sits now after lowering the radiator support. It's so bad. I mean, you still got foot clearance, as you guys could tell. He's holding it up from right there, but it shouldn't be too bad. Or at least, shit, I hope not. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so now we've got the fender semi on and the lower rate. The way it was before and now looks a lot better. Definitely looks like I should be able to line on the line up the hood now I need to re-measure this get my half inch cap less than half an inch cap from here and not bad progress radiator support finally on everything's connected back how it should be so that's good and I need to just figure out how to get these to mount up I'm probably just gonna get like a metal bracket that goes from the bottom to the top and just not them on there because I don't want to leave all this hanging as well. The most important one is this one. I don't want to leave this one hanging like that. I'm trying to see why. Okay, yeah, so somewhere like that. Or get something from right down there, that bottom one. Bracket from there to there, hold it up, and we'll be good to go. But not bad, huge improvement process, progress, I mean, so. I think it is time to actually mount these up and get this perfectly aligned and mount these up and get it going. All right, so headlights are on. The front end of the fenders are on. They're bolted in now. Uh, got perfect fitment on this side. I've got a gap. I've got semi-perfect fitment on here. It's like slightly dented in right here, but closer gap so this is also due because um, this is supposed to line up into that little hinge right there but so if I do that the gap closes and I was seeing on the G37s they have a big rubber on the whole edge of the hood so I uh, will probably have to get that for my car as well but the more I lure it closer on that side and on this side the hood hinges hit right here with the fender, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this so it doesn't hit. But I'll figure it out. Playing with the bumpers are again, trying to mock this all up so I can know exactly what I'm looking at. But so far, so good. I think it is time to cut the fenders. So I'm gonna start off from this point cut it down and I think uh, the way they're set up it's supposed to go like this like that but I'm gonna cut straight down through here and like that and then later on once I get the final measurements I'll make that angle cut all right taking a quick break right now because fuck it's about almost 12 I haven't had breakfast got my coffee going and got some fucking protein pancakes in the works because fitness life want to be fitness life this is where we're at i don't think i'm gonna be able to continue today because i need to go get a bunch of new shit that i need so the hinges for the g37 hood are not bolted in so i need to go get that they're probably gonna be end up being huge self taps in i think i'm i don't know yet i'll, I'll figure that out as i go along but <clears throat> I need to get that. I need to wait for the brackets to arrive for the radiator support where, so I can bolt up the, the hood latches. And what else do I need? I need to start cutting the fenders and I was gonna use this grinder. I was actually gonna try to do this today and cut them from here down like that. And the only part I'm gonna have to worry about molding is up here. But again, like I said, this grinder doesn't work. Um, the disc is too flat. And I thought it was gonna work with this one, but this, okay, I'm not even gonna bother with it anymore. But point is, <clears throat> the disc ends up sitting flat like this and it doesn't get tightened up when I put the 
not back on it. So I'm going to leave it like this for today. George is going to have to head out now. I'm going to go to the store and buy everything that I need. Brackets, salt taps, fucking probably zip ties too, just in case. Because, you know, zip ties save the day for a lot of things. But <clears throat> nonetheless, we got a lot of progress done today and yesterday. I mean, yesterday I was completely lost. I don't know what, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing with the radio support. <laughs> and I thought I was just fucking it all up. George came in. Boom. Bitch. You're supposed to fucking be here since Friday, ho. So there we have it. I'm gonna head out to the store. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you to George for fucking showing up, actually. Finally. And I will see you guys next week when... I have everything else I need.